hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so so far we have uh, discussed about the various uh, basic operations on signals uh, the time shifting and the time reversal we have discussed and the time reversal uh, video which was uh, uploaded previously we discussed the time reversal operation by equating the signal with a new signal in this way and uh, we concluded that the time reverse signal is the mirror image of the original signal okay the time reverse signal x minus t is the mirror image of the original signal xt about the y axis the vertical axis so here we will perform some time reversal operations on some signals and we'll see how this uh, thing is done and we'll discuss some questions okay so first let us uh, take a standard signal which is the unit step signal so this is the unit step signal okay it uh, it exists for all the positive time t greater than equal to 0 and 0 in the negative direction so the time reverse signal which will just be the mirror image of this will be like this so it will just be the mirror image about the y axis or the amplitude axis so it will be like this okay so this is the time reversed unit step signal similarly we can uh, do that for other standard signals let's say we take the ramp signal for example we have the ramp signal let us take it this like this slope equals to 1 so the time reverse signal it will be the mirror image of this about the vertical axis or the amplitude axis which is this okay so this is the time reversed ramp signal okay so this is how this thing gets done the signal which we have we will just fold it about the vertical axis the amplitude axis and the reverse signal the time reverse signal will just be the mirror image of the original signal about the vertical axis it is as if if we place a mirror here the time reverse signal will just be the mirror image of the original signal about the vertical axis okay okay so now let us perform uh, the time reversal operation on some random signals here we have a signal xt and we have to uh, perform time reversal operation so for the direct uh, implementation what we have to do is that again we have to pick the starting and ending points of the signal here the starting point is 1 and the ending point is 3 the signal starts from 1 ends at 3 
for the time reversal what we have to do is that we'll pick the starting point and multiply it with minus 1 and we'll pick the ending point and also multiply it with minus 1 so these are the new starting and ending points so it will just be the mirror image along the vertical axis the amplitude axis so the time reversed signal will be like this Okay, so it will be see minus three and minus one. This is the time reverse signal. So this is the mirror image or the folded version of the original signal. So if we fold it it will exactly superimpose each other okay if we fold both sides around the vertical axis both the positive and negative directions if we fold it they will exactly superimpose each other so this is the uh, time reversal operation performed on this signal okay so here we have another uh, signal xt on which we have to perform the time reversal operation so again what we have to do for the original signal we have to see the starting and the ending points so the signal starts from 1 and set 4 so what we have to do we have to multiply the starting point with minus 1 and also the ending point with minus 1 so in the negative direction also the signal will lie in between these two points the starting and the ending points so the time reverse signal it will be something like this okay xt t 1 2 3 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 so here it will start in the same way but in the opposite direction so here it starts from 1 here it will start in this way minus 1 like this then this then this and this then this so if you compare the original signal and the time reversed version okay this is x minus t okay so these two are exactly the mirror images of each other in the vertical axis along the vertical axis so if we just fold them both the directions both the quadrants the first and the second quadrant in this way then they will exactly superimpose each other okay so this is the time reversal operation which we have performed directly so this is the way to go forward okay so you pick the starting and the ending points you multiply minus 1 so then the starting and ending points of the reverse signal will be defined it will take place in the same way but in the opposite order so here it started from 1 followed a particular pattern a shape and ended at 4 in the time reverse version it will start at minus 1 follow the same shape and amplitude but will end at minus 4 okay so this is the time reversal operation performed on some signals so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics instrumentation and communication engineering have a great day thank you very much